How much cayenne did you throw in this bitch? I didn't mean to. You threw a lot. My bad. Like oh. literally, the reason why I asked for another water chat is because my mouth was flaming, but I didn't want to be the little bitch. <laughs> you threw I like hella. I did it. Hella cayenne into this. Oh, this feeling. I'm back. I got it all back. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. This fake eye is awful. I know, DJ. That's why I don't worry I anymore. I suppose it's better than nothing. About being a little bitch. I think. Because I, I am one. Wow! Hey, Chad, we got back into our body. We did the thing. This little bitch is with you all the way. Spice will kill me. Hey, babe, give me a yogurt, please. <laughs> this prototype. Rogan just saves my life. Function. What? Give me a yogurt, body, please. I'm transferring my consciousness okay. into a receiver. Also, you should probably drink or eat a yogurt if you're. Sedative. You will Why? be feeling it. Here, soon. just throw it to me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it doesn't expire till August. Oh, but don't worry. Huh? Like I told you earlier, my plan is to kill Iris and well? tell me in front of you. So I can't be killing you right away. You will watch them die, Babe. and then you will what? follow in their footsteps. August 12th. Well, I forgot what my plan is. Okay, goodbye. Celery, I've heard mixed things. Oh my god. Ah. August of 2021. Can I get a spoon, please? God, babe, Jesus. <laughs> that lingers. Fuck. I made a mistake. Woo! Sciences are clear. I'm sorry, you can read that chat. I'm, I'm busy diluting this. Oh my god. <sighs> Thank you, Rogan. On stream. Poke it, fill it with fruit. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I win, I win. Yay! Now you have to take the penalty. As much as I'm a troll. Up, up, side to side. You up, have your hero's down, heart, Rogan. Iris, remember when you asked me what your stage name should be? How about A-Set? A-Set? A-Set, you bet! You almost went into old boy territory in an early part of the game. <laughs> I thought of that too. This is when I taught Iris about her name. Greek. In Egyptian mythology, too. Asa. <laughs> I couldn't agree more, Rogan. I could I not it. agree more. You see that flower over there? It's a very special flower that blooms in the cold. A winter iris. Just like the iris from Greek mythology. She's the messenger goddess. And the goddess of rainbows, too! Know everything! <laughs> That's right. That's why the iris means good news and hope. Good hey, babe. News. I'm all for the cayenne. Huh? I love a little spice. Yeah. I love a little spice, and I love what you Ooh. were trying to do with the meat. You better yeah. call me at this shrine, yeah. right? Oh, God almighty, please. <laughs> Moderation is the key, baby. Wait, who the fuck is Falco? Uh, he is the uh, number 89 that we've been talking about. He's also Iris's uncle. 
well, sort of like stepdad, and he's Hitomi's, uh, he's, he's Hitomi's fuck buddy. No, nah, Fusk is just a bitch. Yeah, I am a bitch. Good news from you two. What? When will Uncle be my dad? I don't know if I want to be your dad. <laughs> You're not my dad! <laughs> the Open Omiyaki War. Iris Druant. She must have really enjoyed herself. She even said that she wanted to do it again soon. Yeah, we should. We'll do it whenever she likes. I'll be her dad. The Okonomiyaki Maybe War. Uh, pieces of Okonomiyaki oh, that they made. Uh, she flipped it onto Hitomi's head, Everything. which then proceeded to flip onto Iris's head, and then Iris Hitomi, flipped it onto Falco's head. Together, so she drew a picture because it was such a good memory to her. Uh, mm. Are you sure? Uh, I'm not gonna really? eat any more of it. My mouth is on fire from like the four People pandas that I talk. ate. <laughs> I don't care about that one bit. Well then, hypothetically, what if Iris and I were being hunted down by a secret organization? Well, I'd defend you, of course. What if they're zombies? Zombies? I love how we're talking about I love how we're talking about zombies right now. And then you just hear the music. Just go. <laughs> no, I'm good. You can just throw this away, please. I'm sorry. Remember when we went to that haunted house and you were clinging to my arm? Because it was dark and it came out of nowhere. But fine. I don't care if it's zombies or aliens or whatever else. I will defend you and Iris with my life. Thank you. Well then? You're right, I wanna thank you! <laughs> my answer is yes. Savory pancake. So, you want to go clean? Yes, please. Fine. Do as you please. You've done a lot for us. But, there is one last thing. One final job I want you to do for me. It's nothing major. This woman and her daughter. I need you to dispose of them. Should be simple, no? This is... She threw it away too. <laughs> okay. She knew. She knew herself. <laughs> now I understand. I understand why Rohan Kumakura wanted those two dead. If you were gonna get out, you had to take out the two people closest to you. So Sajima has Rohan to take care of Monica's corpse deep in the mountains where no one would find it. Rohan found out had he told me knew about it. He also found out that Monica had given birth to a child. If the media got a hold of it, Congressman Sejima would be ruined. And that information would no doubt lead to discovering Monica's murder. And that investigation would lead straight to Rohan. But Rohan never told So about Itomi and Iris. I don't know why not. Maybe he decided it wasn't important enough to mention. Play it close to the chess. Need to know basis only. That way, there'd be no loose ends. <laughs> That's why Rohan hired the assassin. Meaning me. To kill Hitomi and Iris. You got it? I want you on this right away. If you could do it in two, maybe three days, that would be great. He didn't even know that they were he was close to them. Of course, I couldn't go through with it. But if I didn't kill them, someone else would. I was sure of it. I needed a plan. 
How could I get out of the organization and keep them safe? But I couldn't think of anything. I didn't know what to do. I needed advice. From an old friend. And then this is where we bring in... Benju? Or I boss? see. Oh, boss? Okay. I hear some pretty crazy confessions in my line of work, but this one takes the cake. But don't worry, all right? So this is why she kept it you could have secret, told me you because were being she would be essentially Martians, revealing my identity. Believed you. Truth is, Boss and I were both in the same rookie class of police recruits in our 20s. We've been close ever since. So, can you help me? I do have one idea. Boss, uh, Rogan huh? knows about that. <laughs> have you heard of the new investigation department, Abyss? I was put in command there. Boss explained Abyss and sinking to me. The sink machine is normally used to look inside someone's head, but it does have another function. You can technically use it to swap bodies. Swap bodies? Right. So if we use that... What do you mean? I mean, switch bodies with Rohan. The new you will be Rohan, chairman of the Kumakuras. Then you can send out an order. No one lays a finger on Hitomi and Iris. It's like there's a reason nobody caught that bitch. What about Rohan? Won't he be in my body? Just get rid of it, I guess. Get rid of it? What? You can take this opportunity to get rid of Falco once and for all. No one will know what really happened. No one will ever find out that a police officer was moonlighting as an assassin. It's two birds with one stone, right? To be a good point. I had no reservations about giving up my body. My body had soaked in so much blood over the years. I was almost glad to be rid of it. But I did have a single regret. My body switched. I couldn't show myself to Hitomi or Iris. I would never be able to see them again. But I didn't care. As long as they were safe. Alright. Leave everything to me. Hayato Yagyu. <gasps> huh? That's my real name, I'm guessing? Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> that was my real name. Hayato Yagyu. Boss, how did you bring in Rohan Kumakura? I made up some charges and had the cops take him in. Is that okay? Yeah, it'll be fine. Because he's about to switch bodies. <laughs> Peter's like, what the fuck? Alright, Rohan has been put to sleep. He will not be waking up for a while. Remember... To get your consciousness to fully transfer. Yeah, I know. I understand. Stay in Somnium for more than six minutes. Right. We're counting on you. Let us begin. Three, two, one. <laughs> That's Rohan's mind.
You're... It's... me. Rohan? Did you forget your own idea? Mm hmm Does that mean... He's like, it's me, you dumb... It's... you dumb fuck! The switch worked. And there's been a breakthrough in the case. I know. You don't have to say it. Regarding the Cyclops serial killings, right? How did you know? We can monitor what happens in the Somnium from this room. Boston Pewter exp It wasn't just one Cyclops serial. There were two. <laughs> one was Rohan. One was Saito Sajima. The sink revealed everything. We should ask him about it. Good idea. When Rohan wakes up, we'll interrogate him. I like how the site that DJ described is basically rewarding people huh? for continuing to go on its site by rewarding what? them with more disturbing content. Pewter, where is he? Uh, how would I know? This is bad. Which way did Rohan go? Huh? Rohan's standing right there. Oh! No! This isn't Rohan! Yagyu! Where is Yagyu? Where did he go? Oh, him. He just left. What?! You just let him leave?! Why didn't you stop him?! What do you mean? He's a detective. He said he wanted to leave, so I opened the door. Did I do something wrong? Yeah! No, don't tell me. <laughs> I shot out of the room like a bullet. I had a bad feeling. An awful, terrible feeling down to the bones. I knew where he was headed. I ran out to the parking lot, got in the car, and floored it. doing here at this hour such beautiful eyes oh stop you're always flattering me anyway um come on in I'll make us some tea You bastard! No! Stop! No! Stop right there! Kinda came a little too late, guys. I'm sorry. If you had just been like a little bit faster, we probably could have avoided all this. They told me I had to endure a long, complicated surgery, which they survived. But it came at a price. She was left with a permanent injury. She lost all use of her right hand. Oh man, no more fucking jerking off. Well, I mean, she could still do it with him. I said nothing. I got up and left the hospital room. And I left all my memories with her. That night, I visited the Kumakura building and called them all together. 
Everyone, listen up. Hitomi Sagan and her daughter Iris are untouchable from this day forward. If any of you lay a single finger on them, you don't want yeah, to know she, what she is. I'm going to get off in a little bit. Are we clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. I don't know what she's playing, though. I think she may be doing more of the cat game that she's been playing. I went to So's mansion. My boss's request. Meet with Saito. Figure out the truth behind the Cyclops murders. As long as you're like that, I think I'll be more open with you. Oh, she finished her? Really? Is it that short of a game? So I went to the Tsujima residence, and when I got there, I said, I want to meet Saito. Okay, that went way too fast. That's cool. Ah, oh, so this is, this is, this is Saito. What is it you want to talk about? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Uh, why did the victims have the right that eyes was taken out? Idea. Could be persona. I don't understand why you're asking me. My idea, was it? Yes. You told me that you suffer from hemispatial neglect. That you can't recognize the right half of your vision. You always eat the left half of your meals and all that. The same what is the true fuck? of the faces of those you've killed. You can't recognize faces out of their right <laughs> Hello, eye. new body, right? Which means you can only see the right half of their faces. And that's why you pull their right eye. That's what you told me anyway. About the next target. Do you have someone in mind? Uh, let me think. What'll it be? The fifth murder? The fifth Cyclops killer victim? Hold on. Could you not refer to us like that? <laughs> Why not? I told you, it's very old-fashioned. But that's our name. The name you decided. You even sent that letter without my permission. You said it would throw off their investigation. I don't know how effective it was. So there's no relation to Greek mythology? What? Don't ask me. You're the one who came up with it. These two are just a couple of bimbos trying to kill people, dude. Fucking A. Most dumbass motherfuckers. This is the guy who outsmarted us. About Sido and Rowan. How long has it been since we last met? That's an odd question. Humor me. The first time we met was when I killed Monica. And my father asked you to deal with the body. But we didn't so much as see each other for 12 years after that. Why are you asking me this? What was the next time we met? Okay, you're acting About really sus. And what did I tell you then? You don't remember? Remind me. I remember you showed up rather suddenly. You really want to kill people? Hey, no. I'll what find doing, targets. Woman? Just let me keep the eyes. Then we both get what we want. We'll make good partners. Hey, Saito. Could you come with me for a bit? Where are we going? There's a place I want to take you. Really? Is it perhaps the police station? Oh, fuck, he already knows. <laughs> That's a moon, Noah. That's a moon. Suddenly, bodyguards rushed out from the inside of the mansion. They surrounded me before I could react. What are you doing? You aren't the real Rohan Kumakura. Okay. I could tell as soon as you opened your mouth. Let's get a change I of scenery. Thank you to Jesus. Fortunately for you, I am interested in hearing you talk. Literally the only one who is. Okay. 
Mr. Kumakura showed me this place. So it's fitting that this is where you die. Bindo. What a wonderful feeling. The truth serum is working beautifully. Wow. <laughs> I see. I see. You got into that body with a sink machine. Fascinating. I'm intrigued. I want to see it for myself. The prototype sink machine. Where is it? Chiba? You there. Why don't you go and fetch it for me? I just... Don't worry. I'll pay whatever it costs. How do they lug it here, though? That, that's what I want to know. Well, it looks like preparations are complete. Let's say you and I get started. Get that gooeyness out. Ugh, yeah, rip that eye out. Ugh. All right, let's go. Bodyguards, apparently. Oh, all right. <laughs> you just what dip out of there. Follow him. Gotcha. <laughs> the useless as bodyguards. I mean, they engineered that whole thing. I don't know. <laughs> Fake, it's fake news over here, bro. My memories after that were lost in a violent haze. I was forcibly disconnected during the sink. Saito's mind overwhelmed me. Only my consciousness was sent over. My memories were left behind in my original brain. I thought I might have some of Saito's memories to cling to. I never picked them up. Maybe because they weren't mine to hold. I felt like reality itself was disappearing. I was confused, lost, like suffering from a permanent hallucination. I could barely feel my feet beneath me, walking under the city lights. I regained my faculties, felt that I was in Golden Yokocho. My wandering with no destination in mind was interrupted by a woman. You're... Saito Sejima? Hmm, I guess not. Huh? Sorry, I just had a feeling. I heard that the prototype machine was stolen, so we lost communication for a whole week. Who are you? <sighs> just as I thought. You've lost your memory. All right, from now on, think of me as your boss. Boss? That's right. That's what you'll call me. Come with me. To where you belong. I mean, to be fair, Rogan, you did join at the apex. Of like 30 hours prior. I managed to make a new family register for you. From today on, you have a new name and a new life. As a member of Abyss, the team I run. You want me to be a police officer? You were a policeman before, remember? You've already passed the exams. There shouldn't be a problem. But the new me didn't pass. That's fine, trust me. It won't be a problem. That congressman knows how to pull strings. Who? 
<laughs> no one. Never mind. So what's my new name? Kaname Date. I hope you like it. Kaname Date. Yep. Nice to meet you, Date. One year later, I was called into the control room. Computer had something to show me. The official Come title <laughs> is AI Ball. You may call her Iva. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. She wanted it to be herself, Ren. Yes, this is all a flashback. This is how Falco became Date.